Uh, it occurs in specific alternating phonemes of the verbal roots or in the suffixes, uh, so on. and it doesn't depend on the surroundings of this alternating phoneme, so it's just basic guna and ribhi. And uh, the two other um, group of groups of processes are just different kinds of sandhi or phoneme surroundings dependent changes. Uh, the second group of processes occurs only in the alternating elements of the verbal roots and general roots of Sanghi uh, may occur everywhere. Um, so, alternation, pure alternation. Um, that is now introduces um, 13 alternation series, uh, 13 sets of basic guna and pretty great for uh, 13 alternating morphemes, for example, uh, the series A1 uh, has uh, zero sound as basic, as in Santi, uh, third plural, uh, A short as Guna grade, and A long as Vrithi grade. And here you can see all reconstructed phonemes that uh, we use, um, especially uh, M and N vowels, uh, reconstructed from Proto-Indo-European. Uh, we use them in case uh, whereas the basic rate uh, has no uh, clear form, uh, for example, uh, the basic rate of root G of uh, series E1 is G, so it's very clear, but the uh, basic rate of gum, for example, uh, is sometimes ga, sometimes gum, sometimes gum, and sometimes gun, so uh, it doesn't have clear form, and we use reconstructed phoneme. So, uh, verbal root santi, here you can see all uh, laws of verbal root santi, uh, with the usage of C for consonants, V for vowels, and E for alternating phonemes of the verbal root. Uh, the only necessary requirement that E is belong to the verbal root, and C or V may belong to the root, suffix, infix, or to the ending. And the alternating phonemes of the verbal roots uh, transform according to these laws. And 